Like, so when we got here on Tuesday morning, uh, it was completely empty. There was okay. nothing, like the, right. the bleachers and that's it. And in 15 hours, we did the load-in. So we have 25 technicians okay. plus 60 to 80 locals that we hire uh -huh. that help to set everything up. So it's really, really impressive. Uh, on what they do first actually is like all the big grids mm -hmm. that you see there. It's acrobatic equipment, but also with a lot of lighting, a lot Most of certainly. equipment. Most certainly, sure. So, and that's that's all one unit, pretty much, and it just you just hang it, right? Exactly. Okay. So they clip it, everything together. Yeah. So when we got here, they start with all the motors to install all the rigging equipment. Then they set all the rigging on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then when it's ready, they bring it up. They build the stage, and while they build the stage, they build the, the wall. And then they build backstage that you see after. Okay. okay. So and we take over pretty much all the arena. So you'll see our equipment's everywhere. We set our offices. We have a catering. We have a physio room. We have a wardrobe. A workshop. So, so are there set changes per se, or are the changes based on lighting? Uh, so we have a different acrobatic equipment coming, a different pieces okay. coming on stage. Uh, but it's mainly the wall and, and the stage. Okay. Yeah. Here we're uh, the real uh, backstage behind the stage. So all the music in the show is live. And we have here different pits for the, the musician, like musician booths. So we have eight musicians in the show and are playing live. And we have different entrances to go on the stage. So we have like right here in the middle, we have ramps here and ramps also on the side uh, where we were. Hey, yes. I'm When the musicians are performing, all the inputs are going in that big board over there, and mm -hmm. there's a technician that is there, of course, during all the whole show. And then it goes in the venue, and there's another competition that balancing the sound uh, to make sure it sounds good in the venue. That's the backstage area, and during the show here, there's like a whole other show happening here. Um, so in the show, we have 50 performers. So they're all here during the show, and you can see the TV over there. So that's a live feed coming from the venue that is on that TV the whole show, so they can always see what's happening on stage and make sure they know when's the next cue. And uh, they're finalizing the setup of the backstage now. Um, so yesterday it was the a setup, the setup during the whole day, like 15 hours approximately. And today technicians arrived this morning to finish the setup of the backstage because this morning when we got here there was this big structure that we call the jungle gym. It's a structure they can use to uh, do most of our our act, like the aer aerial act, the slack wire. Uh, the aerial strap, so most of the act they can rehearse it in that structure, but there was nothing else around, so they're just installing like the props that we have right here to my right, and that TV, like bringing some costumes and all the acrobatic equipment, so the artists can rehearse during the day. And the artists are slowly, slowly arriving. So the first training we'll see on stage is uh, right here, doing the slack wire. And we have a schedule with different training happening backstage and on stage. And since there are so many people involved during the day, we're 100 people on tour. So 50 artists and 50 other people, such as like technicians, physio, artistic director, uh, management team, catering team. But the schedule, the artistic schedule we have during the day is really it's respected like every minute. So for example, the training at 12.15, and I'm sure that at 12, we 
Is this is this primarily a warm up area then? Uh, during, during the, during the performance? Uh, during the show, yeah, the, the artists for sure they warm up here. Mm -hmm. going on stage. Um, so yeah, they warm up here for sure. Rears. And we are, we also travel with Jimmy Cookman. So even during the show, there are artists like, working out. That's quite funny to see them working out with their box costume and their makeup and they just When we were talking about um, the stage, like if there are different pieces of set, if the set changed much, uh, the set doesn't change much, but we have like pieces like this that we call the Orvalo. Uh, Orvalo is a word in Portuguese that means, you know, the water on the grass in the morning. Do, morning do, yeah. So that's kind of an act that represents that. So this is a structure on which our dragonfly, our dragonfly, kinds of wake up. Uh, so that is a structure that appears on stage during the show. Yeah. So in all the all the road cases that you see, it's all of our equipment. So it was literally empty when we got here on, on Tuesday. So how many semis do you bring in? Uh, 19. Wow. Yeah. So here's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people are uh, amazed that we, we travel with our own washers and dryers. So this is the our six washers and on the other side we have two dryers. Because uh, our costumes are washed after every show. And all the costumes are handmade. And costume for every artist and it takes about 75 hours per costume so really take good care of the costume so we travel with our own washers because we know it's like good quality washers yeah. because when we travel in different arenas sometimes there's just like big commercial washers and you know but then some washer are used to wash them off the screen and don't want to wash the costumes yeah. yeah yeah so this way we have kind of a control on the Washing, washing the, the costume. I should have waited to do my laundry today. I just mm -hmm. brought here. I brought my laundry. But actually, laundry. I did my laundry this morning. That's part of touring life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we have like time slots of <laughs> that we can where we can that we can use to wash our own clothes. Yeah. Part part of the. Yeah. yeah so. All the costumes are drying here wow. because the costume they don't go in the they don't go in the in the dryer so they're uh, drying and what Catherine is doing right now right here she's checking all the costume one by one to make sure they're all correct and ready to go on stage tonight there's no hole no uh, and so, and if ever there's a problem with a costume, yeah, if there's a problem with a the costume, uh, they just put a pin on it, and they'll bring bring it into a little workshop, <laughs> and then they'll fix it today before going on. Yeah. Does each one have their name on it, so you can tell who's who? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're all they all have a tag. Since ah, gotcha. yeah, all of them. And a date, a tag, yeah. Nice. So these costumes are the cricket costume. Uh, they're like uh, up, not upside down, but they're um, what's the word for that? Well, they're so the the cricket costume are I it's my favorite actually. Um, um, and I'll show you one when we're in the workshop. So it's like a lycra one piece. But there's a lot of texture in it made with the uh, meat text, which is kind of a fabric with a plastic feel in it. So, but I'll show you a real costume because now they're like drying upside down. Uh, not upside down, damn. Inside what? up. Inside up, thank you. <laughs> and the cricket, they have cricket legs. So when they walk on stage, they have these big legs 
and they're working on them in the, the workshop. That to me, they really look like crickets. So, so we have the cockroaches, the scarabs, we have a firefly, flea, you can know what's happening in the dark colony. Um, so all the artists on stage are a different color. Yeah. here yesterday it was just closed road cases and they opened everything and set up like this workshop to be able to work on the costumes um, and make sure everything's ready for, for tonight um, so over there we have costumes that are not used for the show right now either because the artists are not there or um, because they are double then we have headpieces over there, shoes. We have the shoe station where they repaint the shoes and uh, make sure they're ready to show right now. And, uh, and here we have a lot of oh. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, that is cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the glitter drawer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of bright colors that are hard to find. Oh yeah, look at all the threads. Wow. Yeah, threads of all the colors. And as you could see when with the costume drying, there's a lot. And I'll show you a pretty costume when it looks like. So the costume that was inside inside out, it's this one. So it's a uh, bodysuit of lycra. Lycra or lycra? How do you say lycra. it? Lycra. With spandex in America. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. Spandex and lycra is the same thing? Yeah. I thought it was two different things. <laughs> oh One's more manlier than the other. Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, right. that's the American one, spandex. Yeah, spandex. <laughs> So that's a spandex costume. Uh, now I know. Thank you, Julie. It's like spanks in a girdle. Yeah, mean, you know. that's exactly uh -huh. what it's like. <laughs> With the uh, knee decks, mm -hmm. right? To create this texture. And uh, with all of these uh, costumes, you can imagine that it's a lot of work. Yeah. So Julie, Amy, Catherine, and Kara, you've been outside. They're permanently without a holiday star wardrobe team. And they're yeah. maintaining, yeah. fixing, repairing, and constantly working on the costume. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Good job, guys. And trying to do paperwork at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Always paperwork. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> 